Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Ammer Pop-Up Mosquito Net Tent for Beds. The Mosquito Net Tent comes in a non-woven fabric carrying case that has a handle on top and a zipper along the bottom. The tent measures only 20 inches in diameter when folded up, and is kept closed using an elastic band. On the front of the bag is a clear plastic pocket, and inside you will find folding instructions for collapsing the tent. Be careful when opening the tent, because the wireframe can act like a spring and pop open unexpectedly. The tent is made from nylon bug netting with flexible steel wire struts. To start setting it up, simply unfold it and expand the four walls. Put the two zippered doors at the sides of the bed. It's pretty big, so make sure you have enough space to unpack it. The fully open size will cover an entire queen-sized bed. On a full-sized bed, it will overhang the mattress by a few inches, as shown here. The doors on the sides each have a pair of dual-sided zippers, so you will be able to open and close them from the outside or inside the tent. Along the top edge of the doors is a fancy lace trim. Once inside the tent, you'll find that it's quite roomy. At the top in the middle is a small zipper, though it's unclear what its purpose is, as the net section behind the zipper is still sealed. One thing to remember is to bring your pillows and blankets inside the net tent with you, since the netting completely ensconces you from top to bottom. The zippers glide open and closed smoothly, without any skips or jams. I did check the entire net for holes and flaws where mosquitoes could sneak in, but I found none. Closing the tent back up is a bit tricky, and I'm going to show you a folding method that's different from the one on the package. First, locate the elastic retaining loop, which is here on the right hand side. Then take the opposite caddy corner strut and fold it inwards towards the elastic strap corner. Then collapse the sides of the tent like a book. Standing at the narrower top side of the tent, with the elastic to your right, grasp both sides of the tent near the corners of the doors. Then cross your arms by pushing your right hand out and away from your body and pulling your left hand towards your chest, before crossing the sides to form a small circle. Then fold this small circle down towards the rest of the tent, grasping tightly where they meet. Next, reach your left hand out and grab the side of the tent. Push forward and away from your body while crossing under to the right side to create another small circle directly below the first one you made. Hold both circles together tightly in your right hand. Gather any hanging netting into the middle. Now repeat the folding pattern. Again, you'll extend your left hand and grab the outer frame of the remainder of the large circle, pushing the frame inward and under the two circles in your right hand. It should naturally twist into a figure eight and create two similar sized circles, which you can then collapse under the two existing circles in your right hand. Hold all four circles tightly together and stretch the elastic band over them. Now the tent should be small enough to place back into the carrying case for easy storage and travel. Let's see the folding process again from another angle. Holding the tent in both hands by the corners of the doors, pull your left hand towards you to cross the wire and fold down the resulting small circle. Reach your left hand out and grab the side of the large circle. Push away from your body and to the right, lining it up under the small circle, and grab the point where the wires cross in your right hand. Repeat this motion. Grab with your left hand, push out and under towards the right, and collapse all four circles together. Then secure with the elastic band. It might take a couple tries and some practice, but once you understand how to fold it, it'll only take you a minute to perform properly each time. Note that this four circle folding method is not the same as the one shown in the instructions on the bag, but is the proper way to get the tent small enough to fit into the carry case it comes with. You can also fold using the method in the illustrations, but note that the diameter will be larger, as it only utilizes three circles, 
and it won't fit in the included bag when this method is used. Overall, this mosquito tent is really quick to set up, and although the proper way to fold it to get it back into the case is a little tricky, once you get the hang of it, makes it easy to put it away. It is lightweight and has a durable construction, and a spacious interior with no holes where bugs can get in once the zippers are closed tightly. It also packs away compactly and can be stowed in a large suitcase for travel. Just make sure that the suitcase is at least 20 inches in width. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.